My name is Lyle Hoydal. Drove stock car for many years, about 30 years. You get deeper into it, the longer you're at it. Some good years, some bad years. Spent quite a bit of time upside down. <laughs> hey, that's all part of it. And you, uh, you're out there to win. You're not to make friends. My brother Bernie, he raced too down here. And uh, we built our cars in this, the building on the south end of Main Street of Holloway. where it all started. My brother Bernie is kind of a father to me because dad got killed on that junction going to Morris, Highway 12 and 59 junction. I never knew him. So Bernie was kind of a, a dad to me and he liked racing too. When I got mine built and he watched me go around a couple times, he says, I gotta have one. Then he he had that old Mercury sitting there, chopped it up, made a race car out of it, done quite well with it. He bought old cars and scrapped them out and sold parts off of them. So we just picked one out of the pile and, that ran and went racing, I guess. <laughs> We went in that old gravel pit that they made into our first racetrack. They graded it up right on the gravel almost, put some black dirt over the top of it, and then bladed it down, watered it. Uh, yeah, it wasn't the best track, but it got us going. It's me right there. I was in third place. They were fun days. They were more about about competition and stuff, and not not all the fancy equipment. My gosh, we had those little cans and that little tiny, you know, the tire. And and like Ron Hadra said at one of the um, reunions, he said most of our tires said no hunting on them. <laughs> but but it was fun racing. People enjoyed it. It was really fun and we knew all the drivers and you know they were relatives and friends and everybody went to the races. But see, see then, if you started out with an old 39 Ford, it wasn't worth nothing. It probably would be today but you could pick one up in the junkyard easy for just a few dollars. And that's what you'd start putting roll bars in them and make a racer out of it. We, we made our own stuff. Here's a picture of Jimmy Ryman giving Lyle the checkered flag and he's in half and half. Half and Half was one that I, I never owned that car. I just drove it. Both Bernie and I drove Half and Half at times for. Maynard Shellstead owned it, but he never drove a race car in his life. He just wanted to own that car. And there was quite a history of Half and Half. That was well used before it come to this area. It was built up in Morris, Minnesota. At the very first, we had standing start. We didn't go around and then they dropped the flag and then start racing like 
you lined up. Flagman was in between the two lanes of cars. He told us when to go. That wasn't the safest place to be, really. I, there was no mishaps, I don't think. got my son Scott involved in it uh, when he was 15 years old. Didn't even have a driver's license yet. I think back and I couldn't believe it how quick he caught on. And he was a very good driver. He'd done better than his old man. He, he kept it. I don't think he ever had a rollover. He drove different. He was actually a better driver. <laughs> I would still like to get in one and try it. <laughs>